Hey everyone, this is Fidel Hakuraisha Raith and I'm here with my reaction review of Masters of the Universe Revelation Part 1, episode number 5, which is the season 1 finale. And considering that this was only 5 episodes long with each episode being less than 30 minutes, it was basically an, a long animated movie. But the writers for some reason decided to make it into a series, which... Okay. Anyway, uh, in the previous episode we saw... Ela and Andra uh, joining uh, Evil Lynn, then they found the Man at Arms, then they also found Arco, then they ended up going to basically the underworld and Arco, yeah, Arco had no choice but to sacrifice himself. Now, I was disappointed that Arco died. Like, I wasn't a fan of him dying, but then again, this is a magical fantasy animated show so maybe he'll be able to resurrect himself or something because uh, by the end of the previous episode when they ended up coming to Paternia or basically heaven or Val Valhalla if you want to call it they ended up meeting Adam so let's see what happens somber music because I guess of uh, Arco sacrificing himself so that they could make it to Paternia yeah Evelyn and Arco ended up bonding in the previous episode so she's giving Arco her helmet? Giving Arco a bit of trollin environment? Paternia can do that? No. The Force is a friend. Thanks, Mossman. Oh, Mossman is here as well. I can ask the mighty hero himself to help you reforge it. Whoa, heroes up here okay. too? Okay. For all eternity. Mm. Just like you now, because the door to returning only opens in one direction. Okay, so you like you're stuck. Trapped in I'll need your help, Tila. Of course, he knows how to get them out. Go, make us a power sword, as you wish. Sister. Okay, so they are going to like combine the power sword halves, and Tila is going with tea. Adam to find a way out of here. Yeah, these two need to talk. Talk about mm -hmm. it? Talk about what? Come on, wh why did you come here? Why do you need the sword? You're not gonna begrudge me a secret, are you? Oh, come on, she Mila. Mila. She thinks so pretty. I want you to fuck off. As a mythical man from the tombs, graceful? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's real enough. And he's out here. He's so. here, too. Is he a giant? Today is the wild hunt. Very clever, okay. little man. But what would contain it? Even the forge at Greyskull could scarcely. What about this place? The walls are made of a mm -hmm. tournament, right? Of course, Andra would know. She's basically a lockdown procedure? engineering genius. What terrible design have you in store? Uh, also, I guess Tila's loves Goldberg. The whole damn tower. Meet Tila! Tila, these are my friends! <laughs> well met, Tila. So, a very ancient sorceress? Look at them working together. But they still need to talk. Okay, so these great skull. Oh, Adam. Adam's down. Is Tila going to be able to catch him or something? Oh, okay, so he caught whatever they were hunting. Oh, like a flea. I mean. Uh, yes, that tracks. Thank you. He's a twin, basically. And no great champion ever chose their lesser self. Oh. Until Adam. But that's the point. That that's because that's not Adam's lesser self. That's who Adam actually is. He made as a costume. I get what the writers are doing. I mean if you want to so, look so at it. The orb, eh? There's a whole lot of the weird subtext going on with Adam and He Man. I, know. I was the first to wield it. Mm -hmm. You were the first champion? No wonder they call the place Castle Yeah, he's going to die while combining the sword. He's going to die. Nice. Mm -hmm. Just let me be angry. Because I lied? Yes, because you lied. Oh, come on, Dila. You don't even understand what it did to me. He died. I, I couldn't mourn my friend because I didn't know who he was. It was always me. Always. He-Man was just... He-Man didn't hurt me, Adam. You did. 
And I couldn't even scream at you for it because you were gone. I died. He died. Yeah. And the rest of us had to live with it. He died to save the universe. Don't ask me that. You're hurting. There's a whole lot of queer subtext here. Did something happen? A whole lot of queer subtext. Do anything but torture you. If I have to, I can go back. Like Grayskull said, this is paradise. Why would you ever leave? Because he's a hero. He always wants to help. He doesn't let his emotions come in the way. Come on, Fila. Grow up. I take it you return here. Well, uh, paradise is not so easy to attain. Oh. You might never be able to come back here. Okay. You would end as me to die. And yet, yeah, it was obvious he was going to die. And my program ends. You're probably a backup, a backup of him. No, we're fine. So, and Dougie can fix you. Mm. If I'm here, who's gonna call down the power of Grayskull? There were champions before you, Adam, and there will be champions after. I mean, that's the point. Lay the burden down. But he's a hero. He can't. Roboto, Orko. Yes, Lay Adam is a hero, true and true. I love this. No one else dies. Be a myth. Whatever you're no. not telling me, whatever became of <laughs> yeah. He's here. He should have been here. I was waiting for him. He's there. Like, he is incredibly cool. Basically the strongest of the group, and it shows. The writers did him justice. Nine. Reunion. Nine. How is this possible? Huh? It happened. Oh, Cringer! Aww. Okay, I guess time for a queer magical transformation again. Okay, so he's not transforming, he's just using the sword as a conduit. Wait, the garden is back. Does that mean Mossman is back too? Or was the gar garden before Mossman? I'm not really sure. Okay, they have the illusion up again for some reason. Wait. Don't say! I knew it. I knew it. Skeletor is back. Oh, come on, writers! And he was, what, basically living in Lim's... Warm? Is this Harry Potter? Is, was that supposed to be a Horcrux? I mean, I doubt that he's dead. Skeletor? Orb explosion. I was forced to seek refuge in your warm staff to protect my essence. He basically created a Horcrux. good, Lily. Oh, come on. Now, take your rightful place at my side. Don't. I really was starting to like you, kids. I you mean, don't she, have to do this. I mean... She could be playing. Maybe she'll backstab Skeletor later on. Because she was having a conversation with Tila about... What's wrong with you? I'm sorry. All the supporting him. You are. Leave her be. Yeah, leave her girlfriend be. Me a question, Captain. Yeah, Lynn was having a conversation with Dila about how she always supported Grace uh, Skeletor instead of taking the power for herself. Wait! By the power of what the heck? Shouldn't the sword stop him or something? After decades, Skeletor finally got the power. Come on. Okay. Okay, I have a lot of thoughts and of course I'll be doing a written review of this entire season number one for the Geek Theory. The link to the, the entire season review will be down in the comment section below as soon as my review goes up. Uh, uh, Skeletor finally gained the power and he ended up becoming this gigantic form or something. Now, I'm not really sure if he ended up becoming a giant or that was just some sort of astral projection in order to scare people or something. But yeah, I have thoughts about that. 
I also I also have a lot of thoughts about uh, how Tila was treated. Like again, as I said in my reaction review on the first episode, I am not against a story exploring how Eternia would survive if their strongest champion is taken off the bo board. Like that's a very interesting story. What I didn't like, however, was how the writers treated Tila. Instead of making Tila a hero true and true, just like Adam. Like Adam, every chance he gets, Adam proves himself to be an amazing hero. Even when he was in paradise, he pushed it all away in order to go back to Eternia and help others and help Tila and all of that stuff. However, Tila, again, as I said, instead of being a hero true and true, she ended up moping and being petty about not being told a secret. Now, in my opinion, all of that would have been well and good if, if Tila was a teenager or a young adult. However, she is a grown-up adult. She's a captain. She was being promoted to man-at-arms and all of that stuff. And I was like, Tila... The way that she let her emotions get the best of her and she ended up walking away from a hero's life and, and she wasn't even banished like, uh, like the king did to her father. She just decided to just walk away and let the world fend for itself, which I mean, it makes no sense. Yeah, I, I just didn't like the way that they handled Tila. In my opinion, she wasn't a very likable lead. Like Evil Lynn showed more growth per se than Tila did. <laughs> But yeah, again, I will be doing a written review of this for the Geek Theory, and feel free to share your thoughts down in the comment section below. Until next time, stay happy, stay safe, stay blessed. See you guys later.